morning guys, it's Lindsay, a specialist buyer from Yarra Valley Farms. Today, I thought I'd take you through, uh, one of the heroes of cooking is pretty much the, the humble onion, and how many different varieties, onions, chives, leeks, same all type of family of vegetables, but I thought I'd take you through and just show you different varieties, maybe some inspirational ideas you can get, gather from this video. Okay, first of all, we'll move from leeks and we'll go across okay leeks now this is a normal standard leak that we get at Yarra Valley Farms uh, box count 28 leeks per box okay and if you order a bunch you get three leeks each okay this is a medium leek okay it's more of a specialty grown leek so the diameter is around about 20 cent piece so beautiful you're doing confit or something like that so um, if you want a nice medium leek a bit sweeter flavor than the large or purpose leek catering leek and down the bottom here, we have a baby leeks, okay? Baby leeks, um, beautiful if you're gonna do a nice garnish with baby leek. Um, telltale signs of baby leek and spring onion. Always ask this by data entry or customer service. I've got the spring onions and baby leeks. No, the way you can tell is if you pull the baby leek up and you look at the sides of the leaf, you'll always see the top of the leaf have a V cut to it. That's can you tell by baby leek whereas a spring onion will always be nice and round or hollow. Okay, that's a telltale sign, baby leaf. Okay, moving more into the spring onions chives type of family. Um, we have spring onions, which is grown by our private grower. He does a fantastic job of spring onions. Um, he, this year, he basically kept us going all through winter without us bringing North Queensland, uh, Queensland stock down. Therefore, you're getting a fresher product. Okay. Moving on, we have a salad onion. This is grown by Deborah Corrigan. Okay, um, she's based in the Cranbourne area. Um, your typical telltale signs of her product is an elongated bulb on the bottom. Okay, um, she's pretty famous for her kale, but she also does a salad onion. Okay, moving along, I have a bunch of lot, or if you're in Queensland, would be a spring onion, or if you're in New South Wales, a scallion. That's how confusing it gets to this type of family. Okay, but for Victorian and Tom's sake, all right, this is a spring onion, this is a salad onion, this is a bunch of lot. Okay, because everyone gets confused when it comes to that. But uh, that's pretty international rules or Victorian cooking rules. So um, now, bunch of lots, nice, sweeter flavour. Um, we're moving into the chive category now, which is kind of semi related. Basically, um, with an onion flavour. And these have been extremely hard to get at the moment. Our local grower is his base at Baxter. Um, he will start as of Monday, so you'll see significant quality improvement with chives. Okay, now I'm going to move on to onion families. Okay, or more so the hard onion families, the hard lines as we call them in profit or game. Okay, in the corner here, I have some Tuscan red onions. Tuscan red onions are like a normal red onion, but a bit more sweeter. Um, you can braise them, basically braise them, a bit of balsamic over top, salt, absolutely beautiful. Okay, normal solid red onion, um, you can tell it's rounded, whereas a Tuscan is more elongated in shape. Okay, um, okay and then we move on to our normal brown onions. Okay, we have a large brown onion or catering onion here. We have a premium onion, which is a more so of a retail line. Um, premium onions, they like to have what we call hand clean skin. So like large brown have like cracks in here. It's really a catering onion. They'll take the top layer off, whereas a premium onion, where it's been hand clean, it's got a nice skin on it, it's for retail quality. So it sits in the shelf and everyone goes, oh, it's a brown onion. Whereas here, it doesn't really matter because you're going to take it off anyway. Um, now I'm going to move on to here. We have a jarring variety or jarra onions, and we have a pickling onion. Okay, jarring variety is the difference between it's like a midway between a premium onion and a pickling onion. Jarra, if you imagine the old fish and chip shops, they always have brown onions pickled in vinegar. This is them. We have pickling onion or pearl onion, as referred to. Okay, and then we have some more different varieties of onions. Okay, we have here. Banana shallots, okay, these are grown in Borneo by Ross Arnott, same guy who grows daikon, um, also parsnips as well, and Sandy Saw, he's uh, renowned for his onions. 
and we also have the Cipollini on. Now these will be finishing up in about four, I'd say about eight weeks time. These are fantastic. So when you cut them, they're like elongated, almost like a salad onion. So you can see that the resemblance, salad onion dried out, comes a Cipollini. Okay, if you were to braise that, put it on a steak, beautiful. Okay, moving along, I have two different types of shallots for you to have a look at. I have a red variety here, okay, and the yeah, typical golden French shallot. Okay, um, all these lines, lines are available through Tom, by the way. So if you ever need to uh, have any questions like this, just always get custom service, of course. But before I go, I've brought up some garlic as well for you to have a look at. Now, garlic, we have three varieties of garlic available through Tom. We have a standard garlic, which is a Chinese product and we have a premium garlic. Now, standard garlic always telltale signs, very white skin, usually comes with a 500 gram net, or always comes with a 500 gram net, however they're available through each. Now, the Chinese laws of food regulations are a bit more relaxed than the Australian, um, hence why it's a cheaper line. For a premium garlic, it's always uh, telltale signs, has a purple tinge to it. Um, this can come from Mexico, Argentina, Australia um, always got intense, intense flavour with the premium garlic. And we move on to this bad boy over here, which is a what we call a black garlic. Now it takes about three months to make this from this product here into this product, slowly cooked, about 100 degrees for three months solid. So it's just basic caramelised, caramelised. You can eat this raw. So if you can have a look in here, see the black garlic in here. Okay, that line's available through Tom, but very expensive. And before I go, I thought I'd bring some interesting stuff to have a look at when I just got delivered by a farmer in our um, warehouse here. Um, he just bought me some butter chard at the moment, which is fantastic, like beautiful, fresh, it's like really crispy and crunchy when you rub it. Um, he's bought me some forage stuff, which is really good. And this has been um, forage from up at Bendigo area. Okay, I've got some wood sorrel. Um, and also I've got here, which I think is a hidden gem. Um, he's brought me some fresh Romanesco, new season Romanesco, all about the size of the softball, which is fantastic. Um, nice spiral looking Romanesco. Anyway guys, all these lines are available through Tom. Hope this session has become uh, enjoyable and uh, like uh, informative for you. And um, have a good day, happy cooking. Thanks Lindsay from Yarra Valley Farms, your specialist buyer.